What is going on, brothers and sisters, and welcome to Odd Sparks the Automation Game. This is like a lovely little love child between Pikmin and like games like Autonauts, right? Or maybe any other like kind of RTS automations you can think of too. But I, I think of this more like Autonauts because I'm creating little minions here. These guys are called Sparks, little tree boys. I love them. They're adorable. And they got a little purple leaf on them right here when they follow me. Even better. And we can see here, I've played the demo just a smidge to get past like the opening stuff here so we can show it to you. But this is a logger built to infinitely harvest logs from a giant tree. So it, it's mostly sustaining right now with six, six, seven of my sparks in here and infinitely producing at 30 a minute right now and not having extra overflow. And what I'm doing with that is here. Oh, these are full. I need to create an output here too. So like I could, let's show a little bit of the automation here. So dirt paths are how we get sparks to move. Like Pikmin, you kind of throw things around like that and call them back. And they can do certain things based on their abilities, right? So let me go to the build here and I'm gonna grab, I don't have enough wood. Let me just go over to the storage here and grab some of that wood. And I'm gonna throw down a barrel here. I'm just gonna move out of the way a little bit so those sparks aren't taking up the screen. Grab this logistics. And I'm going to build a small path going here to there, right? And now what I can do is throw one of my guys on here like this. Ah, I'm trying to get him to face the other way. So he starts walking the other way. I'm only going to need one here because this thing here with two stumpies in here only produced 3.8 a minute. And this guy will definitely manage this all by himself. So with that in mind, he'll be going strong. These guys are going strong here. And any surplus I'm getting from the logger, I'm storing in here. So I might as well grab a little bit of that just to keep on me. But I've got two barrels full of fun there. These will take forever to fill that up. So that's looking great. So I actually have some quests here. Let me open up the quest log. So in the town, which we'll go to in a second, you gain some quests. That's how you start off the essentially the tutorial to teach you how the game is working, etc. So right now I've got one which will give me the sawn timber advancement here and a saw bench if I deliver 100 logs. I also have one for delivering 10 sparkies and 5 aether shards. If you're ever curious on how to get something after you've already seen it, if you press K and go to the notebook here, you can see the items and where they can be collected from. It's very nice. So, and that's explained to you as you, of course, play through as well, because these Aether Shards are what's necessary to make Stumpies in the first place. So I'm going to grab 100 logs. I'm just going to just gonna grab all of these, because why not? How many Stumpies do I have? I've got nine Stumpies on me. I've got 12 Stumpies on me. I'll have, I'll, I'll keep two walking with me. I'll go get both of these quests turned in here. So we'll head over here. Here's the town. Lovely little town. The aesthetic is cute. I know not a lot of people will enjoy this aesthetic or this top-down view. However, I feel like this camera angle works really best with these types of games where you're, you know, managing groups here. Kind of like that Autonauts feel, any RTS feel. So in here, let's give them 100 logs. One, two, three, four, five stacks equals 100. Bam. Complete. So much machinery is inside the building, it simplifies the work of those sparks so you don't have to do anything too complex. Ah, no offense, but they're not that smart. When I try to give a complex order to one, they just get very confused. Of course, there's always room for improvement, but try it out. So now we've got a saw bench. So that's very nice. Now I'm curious if we go... Were you the... Hold on. We got to go to the researcher. Researcher's over here, and you can see the map here too. So you can see by pressing M all the little places here. If I come down this way, we'll go through the researcher. I can turn in. Oh, do I have five? I have five Aether Shards. That was lucky. Five Aether Shards and ten of those. And it looks like he's going to give us a spark workbench and a stumpy spark. There's no way of building this without the ancient bases. The piping is vital, so it can't be replicated. But we've made the prognosis. All right. I know there are more shrines out there. I bet you a warm dinner that there's more sparks too. Thought of these statues were minion deities. Deities, okay. So now we've learned how to make our own from, like, build our own stations out in the world. Uh -huh. So let's see. We need to build the spark workbench and then craft some more stumpy sparks. Except. Hmm. And if I go to, whoops. 
If I press the, the menu here, like K, J, doesn't matter. Quest overview. You can see here, these are the quests available. And the Divine Researcher has one tier one quest still is activating the monument, which we got to figure out later, which we need to find like keys out in the wild. And also it looks like we've got this. So quest can be accepted. It looks like maybe I need to finish these two quests. So maybe let's go talk to her. Oh yeah. I, Shift opens up this menu here. Not a fan of it because I don't like games that automatically start me sprinting. I would rather be able to hold shift if that's the case because I'm so used to pressing it, but that's just me. All right, so now what the objective here is to make 40 sparks and 60 saw timber. Very nice. So we'll go get that taken care of. So let's go do some automation together. So we're just going to head out of town through the mines. So these guys are doing well. You can see he's actually barely keeping up with these guys here, which is all right too. So I'm gonna just come here. I'm gonna grab these sparks out of here. Very nice. And why don't we go get a whole new area set up? Because look, we've got like a giant tree here. This looks like a decent spot, but I need something near one of these bases so we can get more sparks built. So I'm thinking, oops, sorry. There goes me pressing shift again. We need a giant tree next to one of these bases or close enough. I don't want to have the longest pathway over, but if I have to, we can just go back over here. Look at all these forest spunnies. Hmm. I might as well get a few of these guys taken care of since there's a bunch here. Just like Pikmin, you just kind of throw them out there. They, they do God's work. Spunny Burrow. Can they do anything to this? Nope. You can see that some of these don't have the ability to, you know, they can't break everything in the world right now until they potentially have some upgrades. And this demo here has about three hours worth of content, they say. So decent potential here just in the just in the intros. So I'm really excited to see what this has. I, I love automation games like Autonauts. And I think like Little Big Workshop was another big favorite of mine. I think these are gonna turn out really well. And right, so it looks like I'm gonna probably just work with these ones here. I mean I could go farther out, like oh, there's an ancient shrine over there? Hold on, let's go there, northeast. This way. I didn't realize, I actually hadn't opened the map, but we can see giant trees, bunnies, sparrows, giant trees. And it looks like maybe these are, are these perhaps, yep. And then these are the ancient bases, those little orange squares on the map. Okay, I see you. Let's go see what this is about. So ancient shrine, currently unknown remnant of ancient technology. Strange metal, my brute radiates a soft light as the machine begins to come to life. The machine clarifies that it's capable of making an aether shard, but it's currently broken. Deliver five aether shards, okay. Accept and pin. So I can just, whoops. Hold control and click, reset this to be go to five. Complete. And don't worry, if you put more than necessary in there, it'll just spit out the extra. Seems to have to have refined the aether pellet into aether shards. Okay. So we can just kind of see how it works, right? I've got some pellets in here. And if I do it myself, it'll do two a minute, but I can also just throw two guys on here real quick to let them go to work while I move around here. So we've found the distillation process here. So that's really nice. What is this, an ancient container? Oh, just got some, what is that? A wooden panel? I like that. That's really neat. There's another one here too. An etheric clump. That must come. There's bigger creatures in here too because if you read, I haven't seen them yet. Oops. But if I read out, no, oh, it's in K. If I look at the etheric orb here that we got for a quest reward, naturally found in larger creatures in the woodland, such as the beelephant. And these are just field spunnies. So, but all right, back to what we were doing here. You know, there's some giant trees over here. Maybe we set up a, a building process there. Looks like it could be really close. Yeah, this is really close here. So let's clean this area up a smidge. Do that. Okay. 
I'm gonna go grab some more guys while they just... Oh, I don't think they can work too much when I'm too far away, so I'll hold off for a second here. I'm just kind of hanging out near them because they'll be a little slow to bring the materials to me. Because they can only carry one thing at a time. You want to take care of that field spunny for me, big boy? Thank you. Look at Bucky playing Power World. What a good game Power World is. Alright, so let's go into the build menu. And we're going to go into the workstations here. We'll get ourselves first a logger. And let's rotate it this way. Okay. Let's get a spark workbench. Right there. Okay. So again, this is just to get more stumpy sparks. And I'm going to change my quest log here. You can only have one quest pinned. I hope they change that. I like to be able to see a couple pinned at a time, but... Okay, so that's actually already complete. So we don't need to move that out. So my idea here is just because of how much we have available, right? So let me just throw a bunch of Aether Shards in here real quick. I'm going to throw one guy. I'm going to throw two guys in here because I probably am going to need a lot. And if I do this, whoops, I get a path down. And then bring them around. I don't know which way they're going to go first. So let me get the, 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 where is it? The saw bench here. Oh, I can just kind of do it like this, huh? Oh, this kind of works. That works. Do that for me. They'll go and start doing that. They'll first start to load this up. And then they'll start to load up the sawmill. And what I can even do here is just extend this out a smidge, right? By doing that. Actually, actually, I don't even need to do that. Let's just get rid of that. That'll work for a bit. And then what I really want to do is just get this out here. I know you guys are working so hard. And then I want to throw down a shed. I don't know if this... I don't think they can store into that. I think that's just for me. Because I don't see a little marker like this down there. Alright. Put that there. Then let's go get some more stumpies so that we can get all this working here. So we'll just run back to our boys. Little compass up in the right there too. So I know I'm walking southwest right now. Yeah, could have done it here. But you know, I don't... Kind of looking at this, I could clean up these saplings and get it facing this way, but then there was no base here. So this would be a good spot just for just for some planks and whatnot. Alright, give me those guys there. These guys are like just barely keeping up now. But it's alright. We'll come back to them in a bit. I've got other places to be right now. They're not my priority. Can't wait to see how they're going to have, like, an Aether farm set up. Because obviously you can't just, like, go around killing these things all the time, right? I mean, you can, but that's not automation. Setting three of these out is usually enough because they'll drop three Aethers and then three of them will come and bring them back to me. But alright, let's do this here. So, oopsies. Ten of those there, perhaps. Two in here. One in here. I'll leave it just because I've got the extra. Just throw this down there. So these work at seven and a half a minute. So we'll keep an eye on it. It looks like it's just doing like a one to one, right? I can see the recipe here, probably. Two to one. So with that in mind, in order for this to be hyper efficient without access, I would need 15 logs a minute to come here. And then, whoops, let's just get you rolling too a bit. And then for here, these would need five logs. 
another 15. So we'd actually need 30 a minute to be set up and delivered between all of these. And this actually does 60. So at the end of the day, without the need for access, I would actually only need to have one Sparky in here at a time. The thing to just make sure of is, is 10 of these enough? Is it overkill or is it just enough, right? But good news is we're working. So we got some of these going through. So we just need to get 60 sawn timber and 40 stumpy sparks. Why don't we just go explore a bit now? Yeah, let's go see what we got out in the world here. Obviously, we can find more technology by finding these shrines. So I do want to go find those and maybe see some of these extra creatures out here, right? And I'll grab some aether shards along the way just so we can be the automating here. One, two, three at a time though, so they bring them back to me themselves. I don't have to go get them. Where did those guys go? Oh, they went to go kill another one. I'm like, what? where did they go? You didn't bring them back to me. Oh, hey, look at this, an ancient shrine. I almost missed that. I definitely didn't even open the map to check, so. Actual arms that can work, wire limbs. Oh, so it looks like we get a new Stumpy here. Extend your hand, touch the shrine. This machine clarifies that it is capable of crafting a crafty spark, but is currently broken. Four panels and four Stumpies. Well, we did find a panel out in the thing. So we did get four panels, so that was convenient. Probably intentional, I would say. And then I think it said four Sparkies, right? Complete this. This one, too, <clears throat> spots out a rather strange creature, has been immediately activated as part of the test. Waves at you, ready and eager to receive instructions. Turns into a crafty spark plank. All right, so for these, we need wood panels. So, two wood panels, right? So I can take this and that and just set these to craft for a minute. Actually, would you... Can you guys, whoops, whoops, oops, oops. Are you guys faster? So you do 3.8 a minute, right? I don't think that's any faster. Hold on, let me take these guys out for a second. Give me two of those. 2.5, so they are faster, okay. These ones just take longer. Very nice. Oops. All right, so we do get these. Curious thing is I can't necessarily determine which ones I throw next, it seems, but that's pretty standard for, you know, Pikmin and Pikmin-like games, right? How come these guys won't do anything? Oh, I can select. I press E. So, like, here I can go E to hit these guys. And then these guys. Can you guys hit rocks? Nope, they can't hit the big rocks. What about these pine trees? Can you do anything there? Not yet, but maybe if we make tools? Oh, brother. Oh, so many possibilities have just been opened up. You can see the paths on here too. Oh, this is so nice. Let's head south for, oh wait, there's something this way? Oh no, that's my ping. I did that. I was like, what's that? I wanna go directly south and see what's going on this way. While exploring the map, I found different biomes here. So at first I thought these edges here were just like the edge of the map. And it is technically in the demo. However, oh, I missed an ancient shrine over here. However, these are different areas. So like up here, you can actually see that Oops, there's like quartz boulders up here. We've got a mountain tree medium tile default. This is actually what they call a coral tree. This is just a little bigger one. I've seen them in other places there. That's a small coral tree. That's a medium coral tree. But you can't go in it because it's not part of the demo area. But that's pretty cool. Another neat thing here to talk about too is the ancient waypoints. You can set up a fueling system here by setting up loggers and getting fuel to transport to these. And then you can use those to teleport all around the map. So you can see like there's an ancient waypoint there. We could teleport all the way back to this one here if we had them fueled up consistently. Now I think what I'll do is I'll set one. Okay, sorry. Got getting click happy over here. Thank you. Maybe we'll set up one at the house. So then we always have that active so we can teleport back home. But let's see what this ancient shrine has for us here. Try and see what it's all available in the demo. Oh, uh, 
clearly magical in some way and holds forgotten information. The shrine is locked and not available in the demo. But see, I like how they still put it here. Like, hey, it's a demo. And there's still more in this basic area that you're going to see and more to unlock. It isn't just like, hey, here's the first area and it's not changing. Hey, here's clear evidence that there's going to be more to do here than, than we are. Able to move carry more items they'll prove useful as the workshop grows so it looks like we'd actually get our third type of spark over here which has a lot of arms or legs i don't know they they kind of scare me i'm glad we can't make them because i don't want that i don't want that <laughs> there's an ancient shrine out here though i wonder if i could sneak out <gasps> there's a beelephant okay okay that yeah, cool Oh my, they can take damage. I don't know if they die, but... Oh, they do die! Come back! We'll fight him later. We'll come back stronger and better. Oh, Derry. Oh, that thing reminds me of one of those creatures in Pikmin. I forget what they're called, but hilarious. Hold on. Oh, you know what? The shrine's up here. We can't get up there. Can I click it, though? I can't click it. I'm trying to see if I could get like cheeky and be like close enough to the wall here, but that's unfortunate. But look at this. Got a nice little pond in here. Can I go in it? No. Can I throw a Pikmin in it? No. Ooh, and a little cash here. Thank you for some more panels. So perhaps something to do with water in the game. Just kind of take a quick peek back here. Not much going on. Excuse me, coming through. Excuse me. Grab all these goodies out here for me. Oh, delicious. Oh, look, we, we can see one of the creatures up here. I can't. A saw beak. Oh, that's really cute. That's really cute. So we got to see a creature that's out there. So we can see we have quartz. We had coral rocks. We got giant rocks. That's probably like a mining. Nope, it, maybe not a mining resource. It doesn't show thing. Oh, it does show giant rocks out there. So those are probably where we can set up automations on quarries, which is nice. Just like the giant trees here. So the giant rocks will be future quarries, which is good. And there's a lot of a lot of entryways here too. So that's nice. Lots of things to be exploring out here. We've got this quest complete now. I explored the whole map. I'll show you the map in a second. There's nothing much else there that we missed. So we can go turn in our stumpy sparks as well as sawn timber. So we can get these in and then one, two, three, four of those. Oh, this is for the researcher, not for you. My bad, brother. I thought it was for the woodsman. <clears throat> thought the woodsman wanted my lumber. It's you who wants it. Oh, you also had this. Oh, no, that's not for you. Who's the other guy? For each thing you tell him it feels like he's writing five different thoughts after you finish the old man uh if only it was a decade or two younger here take these they'll be useful thanks for the shards and then now one two three one two three four all right who, what am i doing here who, who is this quest for quest log the mayor wants me to do this aha aha ha that was the mayor. Should have known by the little hat. Oh, whoops, not you. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. You can also hit this little little button here to organize your inventory, which is amazing. Ooh. This this is what we normally make in a month. Okay, I clearly can't stop you, but promise me you'll take care of yourself. I'm proud of you no matter what and always have been. Advancements, the merchant. So that's probably this guy here. Yep. What's up, brother? Oh. We avoid disturbing wild animals, but sometimes they attack. <clears throat> Hunt some field spunnies for me? Sure. We can go do that. Mm. I'll be back. <laughs> Time for a field spunny massacre. <laughs> Nothing too exciting about this. We've already done this plenty of times. I don't know if it's going to be a quest or not, but... Get him. No, no. Not you guys. Not like this. Attack him! Take out the Belafont! Belafont! We're going down fast. 
Atta boy, babies. You did it. They're on a murder spree. They're just like, get them. Kill everything. Get everything in sight. Murder it all. Take that out. Is this an item bag? Grab these. We just need one more field spawning. Then we can go turn this quest in. Oh my, I missed an ancient shrine. I forgot to check out this little tiny cove here. It's not available in the demo. However, let's see what the sign says. Oh, another one? There's so many types already. That's four different types. Able to replenish and reforest the area. It won't make the same mis I won't make the same mistakes. So, why would you want to reforest an area though? That's curious. Maybe for like the berry bushes? Because we use, what's gonna call it? I wonder where this teleports me. Because we use the giant trees, which are infinite for our wood. Oh, there's another saw beak there. Okay, and then it just brings me back here. That's actually convenient because I wanted to come turn this quest in. So now we've seen four potential types here. That's awesome. It one hit, you say? Aether shards. What are you? Do you want a beelephant? Oh, let's go get that beelephant. Here's our friend again. You'll just start him off with a couple so that he gets surrounded if he does his stun. Right here like this. Attack everybody. Just lure out that ground pound and then we just wreak, wreck house on him. Great, there's the beelephant complete. Back to town. Oh my, we didn't touch this one either. Man, I am slacking over here. You know, seeing, I also don't have this little area uncovered, but up here, we can get the choppy spark. If we get five stumpies and five wooden blades, we gotta figure out how to get wooden blades, unless there's five sitting in here, there's not. So, I'm assuming we can get those unlocked. Oh, that's really cool. I'm gonna teleport back so we can get our next quest. We've also should have some other tier two quests now, as long as those are available to do with the lumberjack, which would unlock panels for us to get those crafty sparks. <coughs> we lost four sparks in that fight. Thank you, brother. And now we run up here. Let's see what the Lumberjack has. Yep, we can proceed Mike, with more quests. Two loggers, two saw benches, and a hundred saw timber. All right, that's pretty simple. I think the researcher may have something for us as well. Yes, what do you need? So we, he wants some crafty sparks. So I do have a couple of those crafting. Do you have something else too? Deliver some etheric pellets. Do I have some on me? I've got two on me. How dare you? <laughs> I've been using them. But you know what, brothers, sisters? I think this is a great place to stop. We've seen a lot in the game so far, and what's left to come will be available soon. The only thing's really left for us to do if we pop open our quest log here <clears throat> is we unlock wooden panels, so then we can make more crafty ones, which the crafty ones are available to use that have increased efficiency, you know, opening up the waypoints. That's the crafty sparks right there. So, and then probably a few other things here in the tier two, but I think it's looking really good so far. I'm very excited. This is one we're definitely going to be watching. So if you want to make sure that we stay on top of this content, make sure you hit that like button down below. Double check and make sure you're subscribed as well so you can get those notifications when the new videos come out. Let me leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of this game so far. Of a nice little love combination of perhaps like Pikmin and other automation games like Autonauts. But all right, brothers and sisters, until next time, stay shabby.